Tomorrow marks one year after the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus outbreak a global pandemic. For many of us, adapting has been stressful and emotional. Liz McLaughlin shows us a trend that's aimed at helping our younger population. From, from kindergarten to college. Pediatricians have seen the mental health impact firsthand, saying cases of anxiety and depression are on the rise. It's been a year now, and I see it, we see it every day. Now mental health toys are getting more popular with tactile tools that aim to help kids cope. We're seeing more products that are designed to promote that social emotional learning and mental wellness. Some, like the Big Feelings Pineapple, introduce social emotional learning or SEL skills with interchangeable pieces that form different expressions. And they can even communicate their feelings onto the pineapple to show their parents how they're feeling that day. Others, such as the Mindful Maze Set, teach self-management skills. So kids can use this rainbow, for example, and then they can breathe in on the top half and then breathe out on the bottom half. Mental health tools are also featured in a growing number of free apps. Breathing exercises, like if you're sad or mad or angry, it calms you down really quickly. A wellness practice that could be beneficial for the whole family. It's near impossible for the stress of the, the parents are experiencing to not overlap with what the kids are experiencing. Experts say opening a dialogue about feelings can help parents and kids get through tough times together. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. Some free apps for kids' mental health are Smiling Mind and Breathe, Think, Do Me with Sesame. Well, many local mental health resources have also expanded virtual offerings since the start of the pandemic. Well, still ahead at noon, Mr. Food whips up a recipe that's originated in North Africa and is now taking America by storm.